Good morning, Rob here from Peach Software. One of our clients uh, made an inquiry the other day in regard to our reports. They were saying that the report was too long, took up too many pages and had more detail than they required. The report in question was daily reorder report, but uh, what I'm going to show you applies to any of the reports in the system. So I'll open up the daily reorder report and I'll show you what they mean. So we just go to report search. Type in daily, and it filters it down to the daily reorder report. Click on view, and it brings up the trading reports, uh, where the daily reorder report is, and we're ready to go. So we'll just change the date range, and open the report. Now, this is a standard report, so it's going to group it by part. In other words, it's going to have a heading for each part number, then it's going to list all the sales for that part number and then it's going to have a total for that part number and that's why it seems like there's a lot of information. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. <coughs> so you can see there each part number has got its own heading, its own total and a space between and that's 34 pages long, that's just for the one day. So I'm going to show you how to simply make that a small report or more condensed report. So one thing we can do is just open it and we can change the group to something like preferred supplier and um, turn off summary totals, otherwise you won't see the details in between each supplier of what the part numbers are and then you can run that report. So now it's gone from 30 pages down to 15 pages um, but it's still on a landscape sheet and perhaps we'll get less pages if we have a portrait sheet. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also how to change some of the fields. But you can see that's a much better report and you can see it's all grouped by supplier. So instead of having to remember all that information, what you can do is make your own report and this applies to all the reports in the system. Modify my report. Up here, edit my reports, if you've already created some custom reports, you can change them or you can claim an existing report, which is claiming an existing system report that we've got in there for you. So you can uh, look for the daily reorder report, there it is there, and there's the details of the report, the fields that are included in the report. First of all, we give it a new name, so uh, I'll just call it Rob's Daily Reorder report and we'll go down and perhaps we don't need area in the report so let's get rid of that and uh, in stock quantity sold count we probably don't need count and then uh, quantity sold we probably want to make that more of a focus the report so I'll move that up under description and that's the report, so that's the new report I've made, but now I can go to options, and I can say that I want to put that on a portrait page, not a landscape, so I'm going to save us some pages, and also I'm going to save the grouping to uh, group by uh, preferred supplier, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to leave it like that, okay, and save the report. Now that report you'll be able to find at the bottom of the trading screen, Rob's Daily Reorder Report. We've got our date range selected, open, and we can just run the report. Now we went from 30 pages to 15 pages, and uh, now I think you'll find we're down to 10 pages. So it's only 10 pages for the report, and we can even condense it further if we liked by not having any groupings at all. Uh, one thing while I have you, I'll just show you something else that you can do with that report. You can open it up, you can say, I want a summary totals, uh, but I'm going to do it in show XLS drill down. Now this means that it's going to give you one line per supplier. I'll show you, I'll open it up in Excel. And so that gives you a list of all your suppliers and what you've got in stock and what you've sold. So you might look at supplier 008 and think, well, I don't need to reorder that. There's only two items in there, but I certainly need to pay attention to supplier 22. 
So I'll just expand on supply 22 and there's all the products that are, need to be reordered for supply 22. So then you can take action, go into your supplier uh, order screen and generate an order for supply 22. So I hope that helps. And uh, this is going to be one video of many that we're going to make. Uh, we're going to try and make them on a uh, at least a weekly basis, but probably more often. And we're going to basically bring up subjects that our customers have asked us about. Thanks for listening.